Greetings. My name is Geoffrey McSkimming and I've written another Phyllis Wong mystery and I'd like to present it to you today. Uh, but I have a slight problem. You see, I don't have a copy of the new book to show you. I know. I'll bring forth my favourite magician and perhaps she can conjure it up for us. Sue Ann Webster, are you... Here I be, Geoffrey McSkimming. What a pleasure it is to see you. I have a slight problem. You see... Say no more. Watch carefully. Zounds and gadzooks! Thank you, Sue Ann Webster. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Phyllis Wong and the Return of the Conjurer, the second Phyllis Wong mystery. And it's big. Oh, yes, indeed. In this story, Phyllis Wong, that brilliant young magician and clever sleuth, discovers new sorts of magic. She finds new tricks, like this one. The incandescent blue lights of Aurora, which she finds at Thundermallows, purveyors of prestidigitation, paraphernalia. Mmm, yes indeed. But that's not all she finds in this story. In Phyllis Wong and the Return of the Conjurer, Phyllis discovers a bigger sort of magic, an enormous kind of magic that leads her to a crime that was committed during the time of the greatest writer we have ever seen, Mr. William Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote with a quill, very much like this one. He did, and it's the words he wrote that lead Phyllis to realize that a crime from 400 years ago is seeping into today, slowly seeping into the 21st century. Phyllis Wong and the return of the conjurer. Will she be in time to stop the crime?